So let's see how this pseudocode would uh, look like on a sample uh, pair of strings, target and source string. So remember that we are computing, so essentially the, the synopsis of that pseudocode is that in order to compute ij, we need to look at these three values. We need to look at this guy, this guy, this guy. Okay? So it's all these three cells that you take um, the cost of substitution from this cell, the cost of uh, insertion from this cell and deletion from this cell, and you take the minimum. So that's the basic idea. Uh, so let's look at how it would run on a very small string. So this is just the target string is G uh, and so this target string is G the source string is G well you could delete the G and then add one to insert a G and that would give you two um, or you could start with inserting a G um, and then in order to align uh, G with the G, you would delete G, so that's 1 plus 1, 2. Um, but of course, there is a simpler solution, which is you get a cost of 0 for aligning the empty string to the empty string. Right? That's the initialization. And you get G aligned with G for a cost of 0. So this diagonal, uh, this path is what's the minimum cost at a distance, which is intuitive, right? So G should align to G with no cost at all. Okay, so that's just a very small, uh, very simple source target pair. Here is a slightly larger uh, prefix. In this case, you have GUM uh, in the target and uh, in the source, sorry, and GAMB in the in the target. So you have uh, this is from before. Now let's consider this cell here. Um, there's three choices. You can come from zero and pay a cost of substitution A for, you know, you taking a U and converting it to an A. So you pay a cost of two. Um, so 0 plus 2, that's a minimum cost. Um, that's one of the possible minimum costs. Okay, so let's take uh, a different picture. Let's say you have aligned G already with GU, right? Um, and now you want to extend that uh, so that we have GA uh, aligned to GU. And the A is inserted because the G is already aligned to G, right? So we are inserting the A. So 1 plus the cost of insertion is 1, so you get 2. So notice we get exactly the same cost as, uh, as going along the diagonal. Uh, and if you consider this, this cell says that G is aligned to GA. And we want to extend that so that we can include this GU. And notice G is aligned to GA, so we have to delete the U. So that's one plus the cost of deletion, which is two. So in this case, notice um, for this particular cell, a, each of the three alternatives give you exactly the same minimum value. And this is not always going to be the case, but if it is the case, you get three different minimum values. That means you can actually choose any of those three as a possible uh, alignment or as a possible edits. So they could choose to substitute, choose to insert, choose to delete, and all of them are valid because they all lead to the minimum cost edit distance. So that's important to keep in mind for later. Um, now, Let's consider um, this cell here. So in this cell, you can see that it's obviously not coming from either of these two cells. It has to be coming from this cell here, uh, right? Because GA can be extended to this, to this, 
um, is what's computed here and you can see that um, 2 can be extended with equality for m and m and you just get a cost of 0 for that so 2 plus 0 is the minimum cost at a distance for that substring okay now let's look at one more cell and that's this one well so is this uh, ambiguous or not well clearly it doesn't come from here this that's actually already greater than 3 um, it, do you think it comes from here or here or either one well you should uh, see if you can uh, see whether they're both equivalent or the one is the minimum in that case so this is what the full DIJ table looks like and um, all it's doing is applying that pseudocode right nothing fancy going on and in the end you get a value 5 which is what we computed by hand earlier on so it can find out that the minimum cost at a distance for these strings this source and target string is 5 okay now the next step is uh, uh, the minimum added distance is all well and good, but um, maybe you actually want to know how to edit the source string to the target. You want an actual recipe for doing that. So in order to do that, we're going to do backtracing to find the alignments. So we start from the cell, which is... Uh, the n comma m so basically this length of the target and source the lower right hand corner of this d matrix and we're going to um, pursue uh, the minimum cost at a distance all the way back the prefixes so we're just going to backtrace all of the steps we did in order to get to five um, and so if you ask the question which of the possible cells and the only possibilities really are these cells, right? So we only care about these. Which of these three cells is um, going to give us the minimum cost at a distance? So it's working backwards. So in this case, um, you can see that uh, there's actually multiple possibilities. And let's say we pick uh, one such possibility. Um, let's say we came from uh, GUMB aligned to GAMBL and we did a substitution of E for O. So notice that if you're going up this diagonal then it must be either equality or substitution. It can't be anything else. It cannot be insertion or deletion. Um, so we can choose um, the diagonal up and if we choose that we know that O is not equal to E so it must be a substitution and now we end up in this uh, cell uh, which has three in it and again we have uh, different choices but let's say we pick uh, one of the different minimums uh, that we could pick so notice that um, we could have um, yeah so we could have um, picked G A M B um, uh, I guess this is the only one you have to uh, insert from 2 to 3 and in this case you have um, so we had G A M B aligned to G U M B that's what this cell is and we've added in the L so that's an insertion of an L that goes here so when it's going to the cell above it it must be an insertion so therefore we can mark this uh, particular uh, cell as insertion so now we are at 2 um, this is fairly clear it has to go up the diagonal and so this must be an equality because the cost did not change. So it's, you know, it just had a cost of zero. Months. It must be because um, there was an equal uh, character in the source and target. And again, 
the same situation there's a M aligns with M and in this case you have a substitution between the, um, so you got substituted with the A um, and then the last step is just an equality because the G aligns to the G so if you see this sequence of um, edits that we have from backtracing uh, this matrix that we built for computing the minimum edit, dis edit distance, we actually get the alignment that we want. So if you uh, look at this, the G align with G is because this is equal to the E aligned with O is because this was a substitution. And the L being inserted is because of this insertion uh, step here. So you can see that uh, the alignment we can get from the edit distance matrix can be used directly to get this nice, pretty uh, alignment picture, which is what we want.